If you just got your hands on the new Google Pixel 10 Pro Fold, well, first of all, congratulations. But also you're probably a bit lost, especially if you have never owned a Pixel before. I'm not gonna bore you with a long intro and I did put timestamps in the description, so feel free to skip around. In this video, I'm gonna share top 17 best tips and tricks for your new phone. First, let's start with the obvious. You got the Google Pixel 10 Pro Fold because it can multitask. And you probably already know that you can drag and drop an application for a split screen feature, but there is a better way. If you have a pair that you use all the time, like the Messages app and YouTube, you can swipe up like this, then press on one of these apps with an arrow and hit Save App Pair. As you can see, this will save into your home screen, but you can also move it to your taskbar for quicker access. And now to open both applications, you just tap on this pair once and that's it. The next tip is so important and not a lot of people know about this, and that's theft protection. In your main settings page, go to security and privacy, then go to device unlock and press on theft protection. Here, go to identity check and follow the on-screen instructions. After, turn on theft protection lock, which reacts to someone literally snatching your phone from your hand and it will lock it instantly. And for even more protection, turn on offline device lock. Now that the phone is protected from thieves, how about I show you how to make your new phone feel a lot faster. Straight out of the box, the phone is already very fast but Android phones are known to feel a lot faster. So let's set that up, go to settings, scroll down and go to about phone. Scroll all the way down till you find build number, tap on it like seven times until you get a you're now developer message on your screen. Now on the left hand side, scroll down to developer options and scroll down again till you get to drawing section. Here you'll want to change these three settings, window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. Change all of them to 0.5 and this will literally make your new phone feel twice faster. And that's because the animations of opening apps or doing different things on your phone are cut in half. Now, how about I show you how to access one of the most important features very quickly on this phone. This feature is for anybody who likes to use a chatbot for everything. Go to settings and click on display and touch. On the right hand side, go to navigation mode. Make sure that you're on gesture navigation Navigation. And from here, press on the settings button and now you can toggle on swipe to invoke assistant. Go to your home screen now and if you swipe from either of the corners, you will get your Gemini chatbot and look something up. I love this quick gesture because now you don't have to go to the Gemini app every time you need to ask something, you just swipe and that's it. If you didn't know some of these features so far, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the bell. Another cool Gemini feature is in the Photos app. It's called Ask Photos where you can literally type in the edits and Gemini will edit that photo for you. But it's not available right away. So for the feature to become available for you, go to your profile in the Photos app, then go to Photo Settings and go to Preferences. Here you will want to go to Group Similar Faces and turn it on. After doing this, you will need to wait a few days for the feature to become available. There should be a new feature on this list that you will have to toggle on. And once Ask Photos is available, you can click on any photo you'd like to edit, press the Edit button, and down here you will see Help Me Edit. You can literally say anything like change the background to a fall theme and it'll even give you several options. Now the next few tips are going to be about customization. There are literally so many cool things. Long press on your home screen, go to wallpaper and style and choose AI wallpaper. Here you just have to fill in the words and you will get your own wallpaper that no one else has. Also, if you scroll down, go to icons and toggle on themed icons this will match your whole aesthetic. Another cool thing that you could do is having a live wallpaper that rains and snows based on your current location. To set it up, long press on the home screen, go to wallpaper and style, then press on live effects. Here you can choose a picture that you like from your photos app, then go to weather and make sure it's on local. But you can also change it so it's always on fog, rain, snow, and change the intensity as well. And if you're not into that, you can also add a 3D effect to your wallpaper by just going to cinematic. And now if you save it, you can move your phone and it will have this 3D effect where the foreground will be separated from the background. Have fun and don't settle for static images anymore. This last tip you could apply both to the home screen and lock screen, but how about I show you what more you can do on your lock screen. In the same settings, switch to lock screen and then go ahead and go to clock. You'll see a bunch of different fonts you can choose from and you can of course change the color of the clock as well. You could also add a few shortcuts to the lock screen. For example, if you're used to having the camera and the flash shortcut like on the iPhone, just choose those two because they aren't set as default. But you can also go ahead and put your name on your lock screen too. Just go down here, press on more lock screen settings and tap on add text on screen. 
put your name in and that's it. This next tip will blow your mind. You can now set a live wallpaper outside of the presets that we get directly from the TikTok app. Just open your TikTok app, go into search and search 4K live wallpaper. Find whichever one you like, press on it, then go to the share button. From here, scroll all the way to the right and pick set as wallpaper, then follow the on-screen instructions to set the video as your wallpaper. So easy and I love how I just did it directly from TikTok and I didn't have to spend a penny. Now that we're done with the customization, there's a cool hidden feature that only pixels have. Let's say you're out with friends and you don't want to be interrupted by notifications on your phone for a certain period of time. Well, you can go into settings and go to digital well-being and parental control. Scroll down in the right hand side and click on flip to shh and turn it on. Basically what this will do is when you flip your phone like this face down on a table, your phone will vibrate and that will let you know that your phone is now on do not disturb. You can then relax, be with your friends and not get interrupted by notifications. And then when you're done and you pick up your phone, do not disturb turns off and you get all the notifications that you missed right on your screen. Here's another quick little hidden tip. You see how by default you can't see the actual number of your battery percentage? Well, let's make sure that we see it. In your settings, go to battery, scroll down and turn on battery percentage. Now, instead of swiping down every time you want to see the number, it's right there always on your screen so you can manage your battery better. The next quick tip is something that people spend a lot of money on every month, but you have it on your phone for free. Your Google Pixel comes with free VPN service. If you go to settings, go to network and internet, then click on VPN. Here you will see VPN by Google and you can then follow the on-screen instructions to set it up and connect it. If you didn't know, VPNs are really good if you're in a public space using public Wi-Fi. Having VPN on will hide your data and information on your device from potentially getting stolen. And in general, helps with not being tracked by different web browsers. And you can easily turn it on and off whenever you want. You also have a hidden button on the back of your phone. Yep, just like on the iPhones, this one has it too. It's such a nice quick action, so why not use it? So go into settings, click on system and go to gestures. Then press on quick tap to start actions and turn on use quick tap. You can then select what you want with this gesture, like take a screenshot, turn on flashlight, or open a certain app. Sometimes this works a bit too well without you actually double tapping the back of your phone, so you can turn on require stronger taps. This will get rid of some sensitivity. Another cool feature that you probably thought only Samsung phones have, and that's circle to search. If you press and hold the bar at the bottom, the Google tab will appear. You can then circle whatever you want to learn about and Google will bring out all the searches that match that right on the screen. But that's not it. With this feature, you can also translate something in another language like this, or even press on a word you don't know to get a quick definition. It's so helpful. I use this feature all the time, especially when I'm on TikTok and see an outfit that I want. I just circle to search and it gives me relevant results. Now, if you hate spam callers, let's set your phone so you never get them again. You will have to go to your phone app Tap on the three lines and go to settings. I don't see it here because I didn't connect it with a phone number, but it will be the same process as on my Pixel 10 Pro. Here you will go into call screen and then toggle on automatically screen calls. You can set it on basic protection, medium or maximum. And what this will do is screen the numbers that are calling you. And if your phone identifies it as a spam, it'll automatically decline it. I like to have it on medium. It does a very good job at screening unknown or suspicious phone numbers. While you're here in your phone settings, I have another cool feature to show you. Scroll down, go to caller ID announcements. By default, it's going to be on never. If someone calls you and you want your phone to say the name of the person calling you before you even pick up, put it on always, but you can also put it on only when using a headset, which if you're using headphones and listening to something while your phone is a bit away from you, in your headphones, you'll hear the person that's calling you at that moment. Now, last but not least, and it's one of my favorite features on the Google Pixels, and that feature is called now playing. In your settings, go to sound and vibration, scroll down all the way and press on now playing and turn it on. So what this does is if there's music that's playing around you, it'll be able to identify it and you will see exactly what that music is directly from your locked screen. And those are the top 17 tips and tricks you should know on your new Google Pixel 10 Pro Fold. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos. I'm signing off now and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.